now look in the scenario in which Guinea invades Guinea-Bissau. No, I'm kidding about that. This is actually a video where Guinea forms an empire. So they actually declare a war on these nations first. Why so many? Because they want to show themselves as strong. Weren't, Guinea was cooed a few years ago, I believe. Yeah. Where it might have been Guinea-Bissau. With their invasion going so successful, Africa starts to take note. I hope they do. Or else they're going to be gotten rid of from the map. That's the best way of saying it, I think. May not be the way people want to hear. A bunch of their neighbors decided to declare a war. And well, they have trouble. With them trying to hold this force back that's entering their country rapidly. They struggle. They slow it down, but they haven't stopped it. Can they succeed? Well, this doesn't look good. And while there's this pocket breaking out and connecting with the main front, it has messed with supply a lot. This is a big mess with supply. And well, they basically take back all their territory. With them having to go 1v1ing. Why would they go 1v1? Because that's what they gotta do. So they go after Ghana. I've caught Devrar for first. Why wouldn't they? And then once they annex substantial amounts like that, they go into Liberia. They cut Liberia in half. And well, now they cut Gu Guinea. Not Guinea. I can't say it right now. Well, that is Ghana. No, this is Ghana. That is Cote d'Ivoire. Now they're entering Ghana. With some of their northern nations starting to push them back. And France doesn't like this. So France is probably going to put dictators in charge secretly. And the U.S. will allow that. Because that's how the world works. If you're a European or a North American, you just need to sit still while your government destroys the world. Or is it the opposite? Who knows? But whatever happens, good thing empires can't happen in real life. Or they say they can't. But that's all, basically. With, not Nigeria, with Mali getting pushed back. And Ikoa, and Azawad declares independence. How many days was Azawad independent? Like two, maybe? Three, maybe? With them declaring their independence. But the two nations that dropped out of the war before any, like, real invasion aren't involved in the peace treaty. Let's see. Most of southern western Africa and they form their empire. Glorious and free to this nation. Free and nothing but an empire. The empire that wanted to be. The empire that could stand for a million years. And that's all for today's video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Wild Mapper.